Hey everybody, I'm going to edit this photo using On One Photo Raw 2025 step by step. Then I'll show you how that same workflow is faster and smoother in On One Photo Raw 2026. So to start, we're inside of Photo Raw 2025. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crop the image to hone in on our bare subject. So I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to grab the crop tool. And I'm going to use this handy dandy AI crop tool, which is going to place our bear in a much more interesting position. And it's also going to eliminate some of the excess areas on the top and right. Looks great to me. Let's just hit enter on the keyboard. From there, let's go into our develop tab. And I'm going to process the basic tone and color really quickly using Brilliance AI. It's automatically going to analyze the photograph and develop the basic tone and color for me so I don't have to go in and modify these sliders manually. If we check out our original, it's looking quite nice and we've alleviated some of those bright highlights from the scene and we can see some of those highlight details much better now. Now let's do a bit of masking to fine tune specific areas in our photo. I'm going to go into the local adjustments and I'm going to add in a couple of local adjustments, one for our animal subject and another for the background surrounding and behind them. So to do that, I'm just going to click and hold on this little arrow here. That's going to open up this menu. I'll choose animal and then I'll choose apply. That's automatically going to create a mask for me around my subject. And I'm just going to hit O on my keyboard to view my mask. And it's doing a pretty good job of finding our animal. That way we can go in and fine tune that specific area. One thing I want to do real quickly is just eliminate some of this adjustment from this specific area there where it's just water. It doesn't have to be perfectly exact, but I want to eliminate a little bit of that to keep this adjustment strictly onto the fur of the bear. From there, Let's go in here and I'm going to double click this exposure option there to take it back to zero. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of contrast and I'm going to pull up on my midtones to make sure the animal subject stands out within the frame a bit. After that, let's go in and apply an adjustment to the background. So to do that, I'm going to use this arrow here. And it looks like it's not actually recognizing this background from here. So let's just do it another way. I'll add an adjustment. And I can use my masking properties here. I'll use this mask AI menu. And I'll use background here. Let's choose apply. And if I hit O on my keyboard, you can see it's essentially masking in the areas surrounding our subject. Now, again, I'm just going to clean up this little area here. Nothing too crazy, just so that we keep things nice and consistent. Now for this, I'm just going to add in some contrast, pull up on my midtones a little bit, maybe a little bit of white, and then I'll alleviate some of that exposure there. That way, we have a nice contrasted background with a little bit of detail around it. You can always play around with the exposure a bit more. Maybe it needs a little bit more of a darkening adjustment there, just so that we hone in on our bear a bit more. Now from there, let's go in and add a few filters to stylize the image. I'm going to go into effects. I'll add a filter. I'll choose my animal. And then let's add dynamic contrast. I'll use surreal. And then I'll pull back on the opacity because surreal can get quite strong at times. But if we turn this off and on, it's doing a great job of bringing in some nice detail into our subject there. After that, let's add a filter. We'll use our background option here. We'll choose glow. And I'll use one of my favorite presets for backgrounds, darker. If I turn this off and on here, 
can see it's doing a great job of just giving it this soft, dreamy glow around our detailed subject. One last filter here, and we're going to use Vignette. We'll use Big Softy, and then Fine Tune the Opacity to Taste, and let's check out our original. We have the original, and then after, using those steps instead of on one photo raw 2025. Now let's check out that same workflow instead of on one photo raw 2026. So inside of photo raw 2026, let's do the same step-by-step -step workflow. I'm going to crop the image by hitting C on my keyboard. I'll use this handy AI crop tool. Looks great. Let's hit enter on the keyboard. We're going to go over to brilliance AI. We'll enable that again. It immediately analyzes the photograph and develops that basic tone and color for me. Let's go into local. And now rather than going into that menu to find our subject and then even pulling up on that exposure to reset it, all we have to do is just click subject. It immediately finds our subject. It even creates a better mask for us. We don't actually have this region down at the bottom that we need to clean up. It does a better job around these furry areas on the side. And now all we have to do is modify that tone without actually adjusting our exposure first. So we added in some contrast and we pulled up on the midtones a bit. And now, because we have a better mask here, we don't actually have that little bit of haloing going on around our edges. Turn this up and on. And it's doing a phenomenal job of just brightening up our bear and giving it a bit of contrast. Now, to mask in the background like we did earlier, we'll just hit background. Automatically creates a mask for us, does a great job of finding the bear subject within our photograph. And now all we have to do is fine tune our adjustment. Now let's go into effects. We'll add a filter. Let's go in here and we'll use subject for our dynamic contrast. Surreal, pull that back. Then we'll add another filter. We're going to go in and add background glow, darker. We'll use a vignette, big softy, fine tune to taste. And there we have it. So let's check out the results. We have the original. Same result, but with less effort. So if you're happy with Photo Raw 2025, you're not missing out on editing great photos. But if you edit a lot, Photo Raw 2026 simply gets you there faster and with less friction.